לשם השם נעשה ונצליח, we're recording the Nushnat Avi Mori Shlomo Chaim Ben David, and in Kaprad Mishkal, but this week's parsha is Shalach, and Shalach talks about the mitzvah of Sisit, one of the most classical mitzvahs that every Jew has to do every day, that is a symbol of Judaism, is the strings that we wear on our four-cornered garments. Now the Gemara in Baba Metziah says, why when the Torah commands us about sisit, not taking interest, we know we Jews, when we loan somebody money, we're not allowed to charge them interest. And also the mitzvah of having accurate measures and not ripping off people by having inaccurate measures. It talks about the exodus. It says, do not cheat people in your, measure, in your measurements, in your weights. Remember that God took you out of Egypt. Also it says, where Sisit? Why? Because God took you out of Egypt. And also do not lend with interest. So the Zerah Shimshon brings a fascinating thing. He says that, the Gemara says that God was able to recognize who was a firstborn and who wasn't a firstborn. Even if a firstborn Egyptian snuck under the shade of a Jew, Jewish home, he would still perish. So the same thing, God knows our thoughts and our most inner emotions and motives. So therefore, you could never trick God. There used to be a custom where one of these strings was blue. Some people use it nowadays. Some people would just paint it blue and not want to paint, pay the exorbitant amount of money for the real deal, the real techelet, which came from a very rare fish snail. So it says, God says, don't think you could trick me. I know that what's, if you're doing the real deal, the real sisid or not. So the Zerah Shimshon, and the same thing in weights. Don't think you could trick people by putting um, inaccurate weights because you're going to have to pay the piper. God knows that you're trying to rip off people and he will punish you. So the Zerah Shimshon says, we learned from here that sisit is like a personal mezuzah. Just like we say Shaddai on the mezuzah means Shomer Dal Tot Israel. The mezuzah saves us from evil eye, from physical and spiritual danger in our home, from ghosts and demons and every other dangerous energy. Same thing, the, mez- the Sisit is our personal mezuzah. Anybody that does not wear Sisit, the Zerah Shimshon says, is in a grave danger, both physically and spiritually. And this is expounded in the Zohar. The Zohar says, Al Kanfe Bigdem Ledoratam. It says in the Parsha this week, when it talks about Sisit, it says on the four corners. You should wear it in every generation. The Zohar says, Ledoratam, you could read it as Ledirotam in your houses, which means Sisit is so great that not only does it protect you when you're outside of your house, it gives you extra protection when you're inside of your house. Because the Dorotam can be read Dira. And in is Hebrew, you call your home a Dira. So happy is the person and lucky and fortunate and wise is the person that both has a mezuzah and sisit. Because both of them offer him f- spiritual and physical protection from harm. Now, why does the Torah have to say specifically here, about Sisit, remember that you came out of Egypt, because God is warning us, the nation of Israel, that don't become a wise guy. We know we're living in a generation where there's counter, counterfeit everything, from iPods to iPads, and everything you see in the world, there's the counterfeit. And some people, they don't realize the real value of a commandment, and they want to make counterfeit Sisit. Like, you know, people want to go, they buy, they buy the cheapest tefillin, which is not even kosher, or they buy the cheapest sisit, which is made out of nylon and is nonsense. Or in the olden days where they would have to write blue, instead of going by the rare, very expensive blue dye, they would just, it says, God says, I know if you're faking it. And if you're a faker, not only will the sisit not save you because it's not kosher, even the mezuzah 
God is mad at you now, the mezuzah, God will take away that protection from you also. So, it's a very scary thing that what the Zerah Shimshon is here telling us is that really, it's so beautiful that, of course, never in the history of mankind did we need this security system for our mind and our hearts to not go astray. It's like a personal mezuzah on our body, the CC. And never in the history of mankind were people so sensationally unashamed. They're shameless. There's, they're totally lewd. Our society is full of lewdness. I would venture to say in today's society, there's so much nudity and disgraceful activities that we need 10 pairs of CC. So it behooves me that I see so many people that are Shomer Shabbat and observant Jews. Um, you know, I'm a tough guy. I, I look under their uh, shirts and they don't wear Sisit. Sisit is there to save us from the hardest test that comes our way every day to look at things, not do sexual immorality with our eyes. So may Hashem help us to know the true value of what it is. And God is in love with the people that are the real deal, not the people that are trying to fake it. People that try to fake it, God also fakes His protection on them. So may Hashem save us from all harm, whether the spiritual harm, which tries to take our soul and sell it to the devil, or whether physical harm, because on both accords, we hope that the, in the merit of the carrying out the mitzvah of mezuzah and sisi properly, may we be protected and well, both inside and outside. Amen.